Hey everyone, welcome back to another Diablo 3 video. In this video, I'm going to discuss on how to gear your follower. The first way I'm going to talk about is a easy and lazy way where you set it up and you leave it alone. You don't worry about it. Then after that, I'm going to go over the different variations that can be used for your follower. So the setup I have is it's pretty much going to give you extra death breath from when, when you farm normal rifts and as well as bounties. Also, extra chance of getting greater rift keystones to drop from the rift guardian on normal rifts. Then the third and final way I have it with the set pieces that I use is it gives me increased XP. Aside from that, it's going to be the standard Nemesis Bracers, Flavor of Time, Ring of Royal Grandeur. And then the Templar Relic is going to be Cannot Die. So with this, Nemesis Bracers, like I mentioned, you click on a pylon, Elite spawns. Flavor of Time, when you click on a pylon, the effects from that last two times longer. Ring of Royal Grandeur is what allows me to use more than one set because it reduces the requirement of a set bonus by one. So this is what allows us to utilize multiple sets in one build. Homing pads, this pretty much gives me a shield for when I go to town. It helps with annoying situations where you're trying to teleport to town and you get interrupted because an enemy hits you. Then I have gloves of worship. Shrine effects last for 10 minutes. Now these shrine effects, these aren't the pylons that you click. So like for example, conduit, channeling, it's like those smaller shrine looking things that will give you extra XP, extra movement speed, uh, extra damage, uh, extra experience. This is what will allow it to last for 10 time, uh, sorry, 10 minutes longer. Now, as far as the sets that I mentioned, I'm doing born set mainly because of that extra XP cane set more XP, as well as a 25% chance for an extra one to drop. And then stages set double the amount of death breath that drop. Then I also have Averse Band, which increases your pickup radius. In Season 28, there is an Alter node that you can select, which gives you 60 yard pickup radius, I believe. So you can argue that you don't really need this ring. So you could either swap this out with the Lyric Signet for the secondary 28% increased experience, even a Hellfire Ring, which also has a secondary experience gain. So that's always an option, but this is, again, a lazy build where I just throw this on and don't worry about it. As far as shields, you can place any shield in here. Some people will run Storm Shield, Freeze Deflection. I just, just threw this in here just to throw it in here. So the shield does not matter. As far as the Relic, I do the Cannot Die just for consistency. Now you can argue for lower tier content. So for example, if you're just doing normal torment 16 stuff bounties rifts yeah you can argue they might not even die but for me this is just consistency really as far as which templar to pick or sorry which follower to pick you that's up to you to decide whether if it's the scoundrel the templar or the enchantress but as far as build goes no matter what follower i choose they will have this exact same setup maybe the weapon might change instead of the weapon i might have it as the shoulder piece for borns it's all preference so as far as skills, I have the one that heals me, life regeneration, has enemies take increased damage, and a cheat death. Pretty much if I take damage to where I would die, I would come back to health. Now as far as stats, as you can see, I don't have anything rolled on my follower. I didn't even put gems in here because I just don't care. The follower doesn't die. You can argue, oh, I can spec it for damage. Yes, the follower will do more damage, but ultimately you are the one doing the damage. You are the one that's defeating enemies and all that. Now, next thing is when it comes to followers, cooldown reduction, right? You would think that you can stack all these cooldown reductions to get everything, but the cooldown will, for the Templar specifically, it only affect how often he heals me because regeneration is passively. The delivering the massive blow, it does eat. It doesn't really make a difference with cooldown. Now, the only other thing you could argue to really spec for would probably be attack speed, but even then, that's such a minor thing to worry about. I personally wouldn't even deal with it. If there'd be anything I would even roll, it would just be to get experience on everything. But even then, I'm not even bothering. So if you want a quick, easy, set it and forget it, that is the route I go. And obviously, sorry, I forgot to mention, 
I have the ruby and the helmet, which, which gives me extra experience gain. But yeah, that's my set in forget it. I do T16 riffs. I do my GR speeds, GR pushes with this because I, I don't really care. I leave it alone. Now, there's some people that like to get in more detail when it comes to pushing content. Then they'll swap things out for here. But again, if you just want the set it and forget it, I would recommend just sticking to this and you don't have to worry about it anymore. You get the extra XP, extra death breath drop, and extra chance of keystone. So that is the build. As far as if you want to spec your follower for other things, so again, some people don't even want to run Borns. That's fine. Some people will throw in a pick sticker for the um, for the extra attack speed that it has on the weapon itself. People will use a Storm Shield or a Freeze the Deflection. Some people would even opt to put in the Gold Skin onto their follower. Some do Pauldrons. I don't, I don't honestly know how if that even benefits with the follower or some people just put it as a placeholder. Then there's also gladiator gauntlets which gives you more gold the, this is like mainly for like gold farming for t16 if you're having issues with getting gems people will use the broken crown in their helmet slot to get extra gems whether if it's your ruby your diamonds your topaz or your emeralds people run the broken crown so not everyone will run full sets like these people might swap in other types of gear but for the most part, what always stays the same will be Nemesis Bracers, Flavor of Time, and usually Ring of Royal Grandeur if they're running some type of set. That is an easy way to gear follower. Lazy build and set it, forget it. Never have to worry about it again. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If it did, please like and subscribe. I will be posting more Diablo related content, whether if it's this, Diablo 4 coming up. And who knows, maybe I might even throw in some Diablo Immortal videos, depending on how I feel about it. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.